and the second model where we can find out the position of a person from the other end when his position is given from one of the ends. The point here is in a row or queue of total t persons if the position of a person is p from one of the ends then his position from the other end will be t minus p plus 1 where t is the total number of persons p is the position from one of the ends. That means for any given row or queue if we know the position of one of the persons from one of the ends and the total number of persons then the position from the other end can always be taken as total minus the position from one of the ends plus one. Let's now take an example based on this point. The given question here is in a class of 36 students Ravi's rank from the top is 12. Radhika ranks three places above Ravi. So what is Radhika's rank from the bottom? That means here we are supposed to find out Radhika's rank from the bottom end of a class which has 36 students. As we have already learned, we can find out the rank from the other end. That is the bottom end in this case only if we know the rank from the top end. So let us first try to find out what would be Radhika's rank from the top end. As given in the question, Ravi's rank from the top is 12 and Radhika ranks 3 places above Ravi. So it is obvious that Radhika's rank from the top end would be 12 minus 3, that is 9. And now we can find out Radhika's rank from the bottom end as follows. So Radhika's rank from the bottom end would be the total number of persons, that is 36, minus the rank from the top end, that is 9, plus 1, which comes out to be 28. So we can say that Radhika's rank from the bottom end in this class would be 28. So this is how we can use the second model in finding out the position of a person from the other end when we know the position from one of the ends.